Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I will discuss what is RCC, why we provide RCC with plain cement concrete and what are the advantages and disadvantages of RCC. I will discuss all in this video. So watch the video till end. And if you are new to my channel, then click the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated with all new videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter to get all kinds of updates. So, let's start our today's topic. So, today we will discuss about RCC that is reinforced cement concrete. So, before we discuss about RCC, you should know what is cement concrete. Before we discuss about reinforced cement concrete, you should know what is cement concrete. So, cement concrete or it is also known as plain cement concrete PCC. So, concrete is produced by mixing cement, fine aggregate that is sand, coarse aggregate that is kapchi, rock and gravel and water mixing in a definite proportion. It is also known as cement concrete CC, binding concrete or concrete. So, Plain cement concrete is also known as concrete or cement concrete or binding concrete. This is PCC, plain cement concrete. It is also known as cement concrete, binding concrete and concrete and it is produced by mixing cement, fine aggregate that is sand, coarse aggregate that is kapchi, rock or gravel and water mixing in a definite proportion. This is the plain cement concrete. So, this is a beam which is created with plain cement concrete. Now, we will discuss why we use reinforcement means why we use RCC in this plain cement concrete in details. So, plain cement concrete has high compressive strength but it is weak in tension. So, it is good in compression but weak in tension. So, I will explain in details why we use RCC in plain cement concrete by giving examples. So, first let us discuss what is reinforced cement concrete. Reinforced cement concrete RCC is the combination of traditional concrete with the reinforcement that is steel bar. So, plain concrete has a very high compressive strength but it is low in tensile strength. So, it is it has very high compressive strength but it, it is low in tensile strength and steel has a very high tensile strength and also has good compressive strength. So, when these two concrete and steel are combined a material of construction is obtained that can withstand all the three types of forces likely to act upon a structure that is compressive loads, tensile stresses and shear forces. This material is known as reinforced cement concrete. So, I hope you understand what is reinforced cement concrete. Now, I will discuss why we use this reinforced cement concrete. So, come to this drawing. Plain cement concrete has high compressive strength. As we discussed, it is very, it has very high compressive strength. So, this is a plain cement concrete beam. You can see here this PCC, but it is weak in tension. You can see this is the beam, it is weak in uh, load is coming from upper direction here. Okay, I will explain in details here. This is a beam, and uh, load is coming from upper direction. So, PCC means there is no reinforcement material on it. Now, load is coming to the beam from upper direction that means it is undergoing some load. So, you can see load is coming from upper direction to this beam and 
this is the neutral axis now load is coming from upward direction and so the beam will deflect it's it will deflect like this means it will bend like this you can see it will bend like this so so the top part is undergoing compression and the bottom part is undergoing tension now as the beam is made of only plain cement concrete then whatever stresses coming on to top part which is in compression zone this concrete will take care of that particular zone that is compression zone but concrete is low or weak in tension so it cannot sustain tensile stresses so the beam will fail here means crack will develop here so this is pcc so load is coming to this beam from upward direction so whatever uh, stresses coming from uh, coming in the compression zone so concrete will take care of it because it is high in compression but the beam it is low or weak in tension so it cannot sustain the tensile stresses so here concrete will take care of this compression zone but here it will fail because concrete is low in tension and it cannot sustain the tensile stresses so beam will fail here means crack will develop here so beam will fail here now why it happens see crack will develop here due to tensile load cannot because concrete cannot take tensile stresses now why it happens when load is coming from upward direction here load is coming from upward direction then the beam will deflect towards downward you can see beam is deflect beam will deflect towards downward here i will uh, this uh, show you clearly here load is coming from upward direction so the beam is deflect towards downward the beam is getting deflected to a downward direction that means it's getting enlarged that means it's tension zone here this is the compression zone this is tension zone so here the beam is enlarged and this is compression zone now here when the bottom part is deflected the top part also will be de deflected that means when the bottom part will deflected then the this is the bottom part it's getting enlarged that means it is tension zone okay beam is getting deflected towards downward direction so uh, it's getting enlarged the bottom part is getting enlarged that means it is tension zone now here when the bottom part is deflected the top part also will be deflected but it will deflect towards internal side means it will create compression load top part will create compression load and bottom part will create tension load because bottom part is getting enlarged and top part is deflect towards internal side that means it will create compression so top part is undergoing compression and bottom part is undergoing tension top part is undergoing compression and bottom part is undergoing tension as concrete is weak in tension so crack will develop here the structure will fail in this condition so to avoid this problem we provide steel reinforcement okay crack will develop here and the structure will fail so to overcome from this problem we provide steel or reinforcement in te tensile zone in tension zone we provide reinforcement okay because it is good in tension zone and it has high tensile strength here you can see this is this is uh, compression zone and this is tension zone this is rcc so steel is 
provided in the tensile zone. Okay, so we have to provide a steel or reinforcement in tensile zone because it has high tensile strength as well as good compressive strength. So what we will do in a plain cement concrete beam, we will just put a steel rod in the tension zone like this. Okay, so after giving the reinforcement or steel rod in tension zone, the amount of tensile load which is which the concrete was not able to take is taken care by the steel which is reinforced in the plain cement concrete. So hope you understand. So if you will construct a stru structural element with plain cement co uh, concrete, after load is coming to it, it will undergo bending. After undergoing bending, it has two zones. One compression zone, one tension zone. Okay. So, if you construct a structural element with plain cement concrete, okay, after load is coming uh, from upper direction, it will undergo bending. So, after uh, undergoing bending, it has two zones, one compression zone, one tension zone. As the concrete is good in compression, so the compression stresses in compression zone are taken care by concrete. Okay, but the concrete is weak in tension, so the concrete cannot sustain tensile stresses. So, we have to reinforce a steel rod in tensile zone. Here, in tensile zone, we have to reinforce a steel rod. Here, you can see, because steel has very high tensile strength and it will take care of tensile stresses which are coming on tensile zone. Hope you understand. So simply put a, we need to put a steel rod or reinforcement in tensile zone. So this is the basic thing why we use RCC in the PCC. Okay, this is the basic thing. Hope you understand. When you construct a structural element with plain cement concrete, after load is coming onto it, it will undergo bending. See, it's undergoing bending. So after undergoing bending, it has two zones. One is compression zone and another is tension zone. Two zones, compression zone and tension zone. As the concrete is good in compression, so the co uh, compression stresses in compression zone are taken care by concrete. But the concrete is weak in tension, so concrete cannot sustain the tensile stresses. So we have to reinforce a steel rod in tensile zone. So steel, we have to provide in tension zone. So it will take care of tensile stresses which are coming on tensile zone. Okay. So fresh concrete is an easily workable plastic mixture and it flows easily so that it can be placed in the previously made framework to cast slabs, columns, beams or any desired shape. The product is then allowed to cure for hardening when reinforcing steel is placed in the forms. Before fresh concrete is placed around it, the final solidified mass becomes reinforced concrete. So hope you understand what is reinforced cement concrete. This is the example of reinforced cement concrete. We have provided a steel here in PCC and it became reinforced cement concrete. Now advantages of reinforced cement concrete. So structures made from reinforced cement concrete are durable. The material is not affected by weather such as rainfall and snow. As compared with other materials, it has a very long service life and they can last up to 100 years. It has a high compressive strength due to concrete. It has high tensile strength due to reinforcement. It is resistant to fire and other climate changes. The nature of concrete does not allow it to catch fire or burn. It can withstand heat for 2 to 6 hours enabling sufficient time for rescue operations in case of fire. Concrete 
constituents are widely available worldwide and inexpensive it is it is available all over the world easily it is more economical compared to other materials now some more advantages we will discuss here it its maintenance cost is low due to the long lasting nature of reinforced concrete too much expertise is not required for working on it normal skilled labor can do also do it it can be molded in any form or shape because fresh concrete is flowable and is in liquid state it can be used in any part of structure that is from foundation to top roofing it is usually the only economical material available for footings floor slabs basement walls piers and similar applications repairing cost is almost nil its repairing cost is almost nil so these are the advantages of reinforced cement concrete now let's see the disadvantages of reinforced cement concrete so reinforced concrete structures are heavier than others like steel wood and glass structures concrete buildings need massive formwork centering shuttering to be fixed as a result it requires lots of site space and labor work concrete takes time to attain its full strength so it cannot be used immediately after construction in contrary with steel structures the main steps of using reinforced concrete are mixed casting and curing all of this affects the final strength the cost of the forms used for casting reinforced concrete is relatively higher shrinkage causes crack development and strength loss so these are the disadvantages of reinforced cement concrete so hope you understand why we use reinforced cement concrete in pcc what are the advantages and disadvantages of reinforced cement concrete so hope you like this video and uh, if you find this video helpful then don't forget to like share and comment